Hi everyone, welcome to AS Code YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a full responsive portfolio website here. So this website is I have made this the portfolio website, and here I have used that logo, and this is the logo I have used this this people name, and I always mention that the I am Rama Smith. I just mentioned that this is just a name of here, and this is the main image, and there is the navigation bar, and it's fully responsive navigation bar here. And you can see some social media icon here and there is download cb and hire me and there is a sticky footer here this is the position footer fixed sticky footer here and when you hover this and you can see this the main image is going to the forward to the right side and the background this background this is background is going to forward to the top and right so in this this is the we are using this this is on this our desktop screen here and when you want to make it a responsive so now let's see what is showing in the responsive here you can see it's also responsive in that mobile skin when we are using it so this is our mobile skin here and here i am writing that weight is 700 i'm like that so we can make some more and here we can select directly here i'm going to show you this directly here and you can see it's going to this mobile responsive as smoothly here when you increase this and the mobile responsive weight you can see that this is the nav bar is showing here and when we make it the mobile size responsive and you can see this the navigation bar is hide and here add a hammergram menu and when you click on it you can see that all navigation bar is here and with the beautiful effect and with the beautiful transition of the left and right you can see here and there is the image and when you hover on it it's also going this animation here and you can see this social media icon and this hover effect so this total fully responsive the portfolio website here and in this tutorial we will make this full website here fully responsive and a fully desktop mode section here so for this i am going to open my vs code and here you can see i have one index.html file and i have this the main images the main image and this is our logo and here is our style file i have already added basic style file here so i am i'm going to using that the basic this folder i is i'm going to using that every section is the different folder so here is the index.html file there is nothing so i am typing this shift plus one and it will be fulfill this or portfolio website here and i will type here this a title here i'm going to type in this responsive okay responsive portfolio website okay that's it but here we haven't connected our style file so here i'm going to connect it that style file our style file name is style.css so here i'm going to type in this the link tag here and in the, under this section i will connect our style file style.css so our file is successfully connected here and our title is almost here so now we will start our main structure about that here under this body section we will open here this we will open in class name is dot hero so here this is our class name dot hero here and now we will copy this class name and go to our css file so i'm removing that image here from so go to cs file and here i will type this class is dot hero so here i will type this position will be relative so here i'm going to because this is the background and every items we are using that will be on this relative position here into this the hero this with this background so here i will type this background so background will be i'm typing this background is fff it will be white so now i'm typing here this the color no need to color typing here just i'm typing this with so it is 100 percent and here i will type this height should be 100 vs so you can see that we have typed that position relative and this so now go to that index.html file again here so here i will type this header here i am typing this header section so this is our header section here and here i will type this a logo class so dot logo there's a logo class here and here i will add a image that logo mg so mg tag here so here i'm typing this logo dot png so logo dot png is typed added here and i'm going to remove that remove that here and under this section here we will open the nav section so nav section here and we will open it here ul li and anchor tag 
so here you can see that we have added that and this for for working for the link we are using that a hashtag here and you can type here the link when you want to set up in your website so here i'm going to type this first of all is i'm typing home so now i will duplicate this line okay home and here i'm typing this about us about exactly i'm just typing about here and here i will type this services services and under this section home here i will type this contact okay contact so when we reload open this with this live server and what you can see here you can see here is nothing is showing here just logo here and some navigation bar menu is on the down this bottom side and the left so we want to make this all item will be suitable and so for now we'll copy this class name this is header so we'll copy this class name here so first of all we'll type this dot hero and after that we'll type this section header here so here we will type this section for this and we'll make it this but before making it we should make the resize our logo here so our logo is we have this class name is logo so that is header dot class name logo so we're going to make it that's why you can see that everything is item is easily here so here i'm typing this header logo header dot but you can make that all item as one by one but here i'm just making this line again before this complete that header section because of this i want to make that image which should be in a small size so here i'm just typing this width will be 150 pixel so this image will be as a small size here if you open it you can see the image is on a small size so here under this section this header section will work now here so here we'll type this position absolute so that will be the background item in this word the number so here we'll type this position will be absolute and here we'll type this with this 100 percent and then we will type here this the padding here padding will be 10 pixel and 100 pixel okay after adding this padding here now i will add a background here so this back background will be hashtag FFF it will be the white color so here is our background and the position absolute and it is here this padding and the background is almost here so now if you want to load this so you can see here there's we have a small background but it's not showing currently now because we haven't added uh, the Z index and we if we make this color changes so it will be show here like that like for example here I'm just changing that color 056d and if we change the color it will be show here here i'm just showing this you can see the background color is showing here so here i'm just making that our the previous color and this is fff so after adding this color here and now we'll make this for this logo image sizes we have already fixed that logo size and here we will type this flow it the logo will be on the left side and here we will type that another item is the line height that will be this line height 50 pixel that will be the center because of we made that the padding is 100 pixel and this 100 pixel middle is just 50 pixel so this is our this top this for this we can work here this and this 100 50 pixel will be make it a center on this padding so here after this padding this line height is goes to center this logo here if we make it and i will show you that this logo goes to center here you can see that and also the padding from this here and now we will make this item to the right side so here this will copy this header item here and we will copy this header section and now we will type here header section and this is nap this is nap section here i'm showing that this is you can see that after header and here we have this another section is nap so that nav is already i have added here so here i will add this the nav section here now we will make this item will be flow it to the right side so you can see that flow it is right side here so now you can see i will show that you can see that all item is on the right side 
so after that we will make this this coffee this again here and now we will make it and this after this section after this snap tag we have this another section is ul so we'll copy this ul section from here and just i'm typing that ul here and here i will type this display will be flex the display will be flex here and here i will type this margin zero and this margin zero and where will be the top zero so you can see here the margin and top is zero so here you can see this all item will be in the line so here now we will add some space into this and list style now first of all we will make this for the you will li item for this list item and we will remove that list tag what is showing as a here you can see that i will show you that here this for this list item so we will copy this li okay just copy this li here and enter here the li here and now we'll why we are typing this this li tag here so i'm showing you that that for why you can see a circle as a removes as a black circle here into every text before here every black circle and it's a list style for this li list tag this showing here so now we'll using that list tag and we'll hide this and we'll make this remove here so here we'll type this list style should be here the none and we'll be see here this list item is almost none from here you can see there is no list item you can see that black circle is almost removed from here so under this section after this li we have this another is anchor tag so go to html style file here and copy this item from here and paste it again and for the type this for this anchor tag here so here i will type this first of all i will make the color so color will be i'm making the color is hashtag uh, i'm going to choose that a different type of color that will be using for everyone so i'm going to make that and if 6 d and here we will choose that color from the rgb table here so this color okay this is 220410 so this is our color and we will choose that and here you can see looking this type of color from here and now we will add some padding from there so here we will be add the padding okay here i will add the padding is from this left and right and here from the top and bottom will be zero here and the left and right is i'm writing that a 15 pixel okay now we will make it and you can see here this have some space but here some as a underline here so we'll make it the text decoration on for the anchor tag here so here we'll type this text decoration will be none and under this after this text decoration on here and now we'll say make the increase the font size so here we'll increase this font size here okay font size i will make it the 20 pixel here and the font to it and i'm making that font to it is um 600 and after making this font size and font to it and now we will be see here this item will be looking more gorgeous here but we want to make it the capital letter all everything here so how much we have now so we'll type this text transform the text transform will be here i'm typing this text transform will be uppercase so it will be a capital letter everything here and i will type another properties line height that will be the all item will be particularly center here the 50 pixel the line height here and i will show that you can see that all item this is a capital letter and this all item will be shown here in the vertically center you can see that size and that size and everything is going to be center here so after this item we will make another border line so here i'm typing this border bottom that will be in the border bottom here so border bottom here i'm typing this um, three pixel solid and hashtag ff0560 okay this will be a border bottom color here and after this snap tag we have some bottom here but here we have this here so we have it to make it here in this line so we have made this wrong here 
so we need to copy this and remove from here this header nav tag so we'll add this on the header tag you can see header we have this count the background here so we'll add this header section so now it will be make here a borderline in this below here you can see a below borderline is here and now we will add a hover effect here so now we will copy this class name this section from here for this anchor tag we will copy this and after this we will add here and for anchor tag we will make the hover effect here so hover effect will make here this color first of all the color should be hashtag fff white the color should be white here and the background will be make we will make the background that is ff0560 so now if you hover on it and you can see that the color is showing here you can see this type of color but here no padding you can see there is no padding showing here so we will add a small padding here that is padding we will make it a padding that will be i'm going to be using that um, 10 pixel and 15 pixel and now let's check it if we have got going some increase more so then we can make it small you can see it's going here and now we'll make it a color will be stopped from here so now we'll add a class name add another class name on here that is active class so here i will type this class name is active i got i type it wrong here so here i will type this class name is active so this class name active for will type this for this color this our hover effect and that color will be always stay one here so under this section here i will type another class and here i will type this comma here and this one and copy from the anchor tag and to header and now we will type here and here for the active for a dot active class so now if we reload that page and you will be see that background one item is still on the active button you can see here and but another button is almost still working as finally so after we have made this header section so now we will add some text here and that right side will text the add the main image and after making that and we will make this responsive here so first of all we will be make it the responsive for the image tag here after this header section we will add another class name is container so another class name is container here and under this container section here i will add this first of is info so info box here we will type this first of all here i will type this is one and here i am typing this the title for the name of this so here i am typing my comma and here i am rima so here i want to make some different color for this rima here so that's why I'm typing here a span and that will be a rhyme and after this span tag we'll take it here a smith okay after that I'm adding this the title for this heading tag and now I will add some details and this some text here so here I'm using the pay tag for the paragraph tag here so here I'm typing something here this is my official portfolio website okay after this here i'm typing that another some details more here i am a professional web developer and graphic designer okay now here i'm typing this and now we'll reload this page and you will be see here some text here but it's not showing i don't know why so i think info here and this title here and i will add another button for this under this pay tag here i will add another two more button that is a tag will be here hashtag and here i will add this download download cv and we will duplicate this line again and now here i will change this 
हायर में हायर में सब टाइपिंग दिस हियर सो नाउ वी विल ओपन दिस क्लासेस हियर द डॉट कंटेनर एलिमेंट एंड दिस इनफो बॉक्स हियर सो नाउ वी विल गो टू दिस ओपन दिस लाइव सर्वर हियर एंड यू कैन सी हियर इज नथिंग इज शोइंग सो वी हैव टू मेक इट विजिबल हियर and is met here so i think it should be show here but i don't know why it's not showing for this container class so first of all copy this class here and under this section here we will type this container and here we will type this display will be flex and after this here we will type this position will be relative so display flex position relative and we will add one more with is 100% so after adding this and now it should be show that the text here we can see that all item is showing here but it's go to the upside so we need to make this one this is strong here on the center one the bottom side center and the left so we'll make it so just copy this info class name here and under this section here we'll type this info class name and now we'll type here the position relative and here we'll type this margin from the left side and margin from this left will be 8% <laughs> minus not minus it will be only 8% and here this margin left here and now we'll type here this margin from the top so margin from the top is it will be margin from the top i'm typing this 14 percent so after adding this margin from the top and margin from the left here so now we'll make let me make that and you will be see that it's showing or not so you can see this item is showing on here but i want to make some more here but when we change this all element style here then it will be go to this section here so first let's style this so here info is so this second class is with info is so we'll make this side item this here so we're opening this class then this style here so here i'm typing this first of all there is s1 and we need to copy this class name dot info and here we'll type this class name and here i will type this Okay, now for this info tag we will type this color code and this color code we will choose from here that we have typed the header nav wheel so here we will type this color code here and now we will type this font size so we will increase the font size is here i am increasing this 70 pixel so the font size is 70 pixel here and this info color is here so now if we open it with the live server and you can see the text is some more is increase here and now I will make the color for this Rima. So just go to here for this Rima. We have color for this. We have type here the span section here. So let's copy this span here. And here we will type this span. For span we will type the color here. So we want to just make a color changing here. So here I am typing the color is 56 ST. So now we will see that the color is successfully applied here. You can see that Rima is meet and the color is successfully applied. And now we will make this type for this this text. For this text, first of all, we will mix and break here from this. After this, I'm professional here. I'm going to make a break here, and this text will be on the under here. So here I'm just typing. Here I'm professional. This is a developer. So here I'm like typing a break, and this line is break from here. And then we will copy this the paragraph dot p tag and go to style file and enter here. So first of all we have to make enter this this copy info here and remove this is one and type here the p tag. And now we'll make this font size is as usual. We'll not change the font size for the p tag. This font size will be as the same. We we'll just change that color from here. The color is we just change it <laughs> i made that a color is mistake here okay now i just copy it again and that the color is changes here so now we have to make some space from the top 
we can see that color is changes but here is no space so we want to make some space from here and there so we want to make some space so for this we will type here the margin uh, margin from the top okay that's it margin from the top here and we can write as margin from the okay just let's write it as using what we write at the top so you can use it no issue so here i'm typing this for this as a 10 pixel margin from the top and let's check if it's gone or not you can see here we have got some space now we'll style this button for this button we have typed this a tag for this under this info we have write this a tag so for this this will make this design for both this one so first of all copy this info the class name here the dot info and typing this this coding for this anchor tag so type here a tag and here we will type this color first of all the color is i will type this hashtag fff for this color here and now we will make this background this is our background color okay here i am typing this background and enter that color code so background and color is almost here and now we will add a font size the font size is here i am typing this it will be 15 pixel and this font size you can type anything as a suitable for your skin so here i am just typing this font size is 15 pixel so now we will make it a background color here and now we will add a padding here that is 10 pixel and 18 pixel and i will add a border radius here border radius will be 5 pixel so after adding this now we will be see here the button style is almost here but here we have it that text decoration we have to run it and we have to make some space from the top so let's go to again here this style file here we have now we have to type this text decoration so the text decoration should be none and now we will to make this padding for this margin we will make it here the margin I am just typing here I am not using that simple classes here for this margin I am using that directly margin from for here and we will make this top is 30 pixel so it will be top and bottom 30 pixel and 5 pixel from the left and right so now we will open this and you can see it's on here but it's not showing here this display this download see but here is no space I think here we have some mistake here the 30 pixel this is for top and bottom and this is for this 5 pixel here okay I think I made some mistake here the 5 pixel and 30 pixel still no space here what happened okay I understand here for this we have to add the margin from the top and now we will make it for the margin from the top here this is here the 30 pixel not 30 pixel here I'm going to make a 15 okay 20 pixel and here we will add another uh, item is for the margin and margin will be here I'm typing that space from the left and right for here I'm going to typing this 5 pixel and 30 pixel so after adding this we can see here no space but inside this we have some space so now we'll make it here for this info color a here for it now we'll type here this Okay, now we have one mistake here that is we have to remove that and in instead of it we have to make it the display should be in line block so then it will be as a showing here so now we'll make it here this 20 pixel and 5 pixel now let's open it you can see here we have some small smith here so we'll make it here increase that size here 30 pixel and let's make it the 5 pixel 
you can see now we have some space here and from this space we have and this button now we will add a hover effect for this button okay now we will add this hover effect for this button here and this button we have anchor tag so just copy this anchor tag in 4a and after this section we will add a hover so we'll add hover effect here and that background which will be changed here the background will be this color code 220410 and this color will be white so now if we make it in live server and when we hover it you can see the color is changing here and this hire me and this transition the color is, is almost set it here so now we'll add the image for this right side Okay, now we'll go to index.html file here. So after this info tag for this class here, you can see this class here. And now under this class, we'll open here the IMG box. So here I will type this IMG box open class here. And now here I will type this one for background color and another is I will add here the image. So here I'm typing that first color for this is I will use for this basic class for this background color. And here I am typing that another IMG here. So that I will use here the main IMG is the main IMG is Rima dot here. So how do I make it? And now okay, just go to here. And now you can see that image is showing here, but it's not showing. Like you can see that image is almost here. So now we have to add here some defect on this so this background is not added here and this image size is not included here so we'll copy this img box class name and go to style file and i will type here this class name for this we have to add a dot and their class name and we'll type here this position will be relative <coughs> and here we'll add a width is 45 percent <coughs> And here we will add another eye properties height is 80%. So properties with this 45% height is 80%. And here we will add this left will be as 50%. And left is 50% and it will be in the bottom. So I want to make this item all item should be in the bottom size. Okay, I have to close that. And you can see this all item should be in this bottom here so for that that's why i have typed it there the bottom is zero so after this tag and we have to copy this img box and or we can type directly the bezi here okay that class copy here and here i'm typing that busy and here it will be position absolute because we will just make it a set here but we will not increase here this position relative or like that we will not increase here so we will just here position right here this absolute and here we will type this height is 100% okay not 100% here I am going to type this 70% 70% here and here I will type this left is 50% and transform transform translate it will be the minus 50 percent and it will be on the x direction okay it will be x direction here this 50 percent here so now you can see that image is almost sided because we haven't added in background yet now so let's go to here and now we'll add a background for this background color code here this background color code is hashtag ffc the background color is almost here and height is almost we have some height here and now we'll add for the width and now we'll make it that item from this height is 70 percent or we can make some increase here <coughs> so here i'm adding the width is 55 percent and background color is almost here and here i will type this left is 50 percent and here i will type the border radius so we'll make it a circle so border radius is 50 percent 
so now let's open it we must haven't seen any border here so it will be here I'm typing this from the bottom let's go to this bottom side here so we'll type this bottom is 30% and we will duplicate this total copy this classes here and we will enter here and now we will type for this IMG the, for the IMG classes here we have added an IMG here so we will copy this and we will change this value is IMG and for this absolute here we will remove that background from here and this for this we will add a hide this that person and we will remove that width from here and this border radius will be removed from here and this is left and bottom should be zero here so here is the bottom zero and here we will add a another transition for this bottom transition for bottom for bottom one second and for the left is one second okay I have type here the mistake okay so now we can copy this item here and here we have to paste this item for that that will be for this the transition what we will add this transition and everything will be for a smooth item from here so now let's open it we still we haven't seen anything here okay now we have to go there that IMG box what we write it here so here we will type this for this right side it will be minus 10% and from the top is it will be here the 20% so after typing this so now this image should be shown here you can see still that image is not showing here still this right side the image is not showing because of we have two mistake maybe I have so here let's check it about it okay first of all we have image here we have typed this left is 50% so first of all remove it and then let's check it it's working or not still it's not working so maybe we have another mistake let's go to the style file and that mistake is maybe we have one over hero okay there's so we have to add a display will be flex so display all item will be flexible and this so now must it must be show us let's check it you can see there's all everything is showing here this images item and this bottom zero and everything is showing here so now we'll add a hover effect here so now let's go to down and here we have added a class name that is okay i will add it class name again here on this section so the class name is here i'm typing this class name rima and this is our background here so I will hover this image box so it will be it will be open this transition bot so here I'm going to down so we're writing this and here mg box and dot hover when you hover one mg box it will be open this image site so here first of all we'll make this bg this is our background bg here so it will be dot bg and so when we hover it it will go i want to make this item when we hover one it when we hover one it and this item will be go to some right side and go to some up to the top side so we have to make it that we have added in this property here you can see that basic property we have added this bottom is 20 percent so let's copy this so here i'm adding this bottom is 20 percent so here I will make it bottom will be 30% when you hover one the image box here and bottom is here and we will make this left so left we have this 55 50% so let's copy it and here we will add is left is it will be 55% okay that's will be go to some right side and it the bottom will be go to some top side so let's open it and let's check if it's working or not you can see when we hover one it it's going to this some right and it's going to some top 
okay now let's back here so now we'll make our effect for this class name is Raima here so let's copy this class name here and we will just make this item this text is in this item align will be pasted here again so after this paste it again here so just we have to ch change the class name here and now we'll make it this left so here I'm just making this bottom here is I'm removing this bottom here and I'm just making the transition is for this left, left side here and here I'm adding a transition also so that will be transition here I'm adding this 0.3 second let's make copy this again and enter here <laughs> I make it in the outside of it let's enter here okay now let's check it the hover effect is working or not so when you hover one it you can see it's going is to off and this image is going to this right side you can see this image right side and this background is on here so with i think i need to make this transition effect from here to and transform here and this transition will be here or we can remove this transition effect if we i'm removing that if we need we'll add it i think this without transition effect this transition we have added that bottom and left it will work as perfectly here so let's open it you can see it's working as perfectly so do not don't need to add any more any other transition here so after adding this this hopper effect is successfully working here so now i will add this background i will add a box shadow so let's go to this box shadow this class name for the busy and img box for the busy class name here so here i will add a box shadow so box shadow will be here i will type this 0 0 and it will be 30 pixel and this box shadow here i will add the color code is this color code okay so now we'll be see here when you hover on it it will be go some as a box shadow is here i added the some mistake here so that good style.css file we don't need to add this box shadow here so we need to add this box shadow on this hover one the busy so when you hover one busy here so here i will add this box shadow so now when we hover one it you can see it's going a box shadow here and this is more transition here so now i will add some social media icon here so let's go to down okay let's go to down index.html file and after this class here we will add this the class name is social social links this is our class name is social link okay i made some mistake here spelling social link okay so after opening this class and here we will add the classes all this will be all icon from the the font awesome icon so for this i will go to my browser here okay here now we will search for the font awesome cdn first of all font awesome cdn Okay, now you can see here your website is cdnjs.com so go to there and open another tab here we will search for the font awesome icon so font awesome icon here and now let's open it the font awesome.com here and this cdn will copy this cdn link the latest version of cdn here now just wait for some time for loading this page okay the latest version is 5.15.3 so this is the latest version and just copy this cdn here and go to index.html file on the header section after this style link tag here we will add another link tag and that is the url we will type here this the font of some cdn the version link here and just make it small okay so now we'll open this here okay no need to open here just go to inside this section for social link what is this i have typed some mistake here maybe okay here so we will add the social links that class when we make enter here so this 
this item is go to the right and the downside here so now we'll open this the font or some icon here so here we'll search for for the first of all the facebook the facebook and you can see we have got the facebook icon here and now we will make this the for the second one is twitter so twitter icon is here and open it in another tab and here now we will search for the linkedin this is linkedin here and linkedin twitter almost here so now we will search for the youtube ok for this youtube here you can choose any one of them so i would like to choose this one ok now let's choose it all of icon here first of all i am copying this facebook icon and under this classes here just put it the facebook icon here and go to again and now copy this twitter icon link and under this section put it here and go to again and here we will be get this that link to for, for linkedin here this is our linkedin icon link and here enter this again so after that we have youtube icon that is we have copied from here so here we have copied this icon here ok now we just copy this social link class name here so copy this class name and go to style file and here we will type this social class name here and now we will make it the position will be it's the position is relative position relative here and for this margin left we will add this margin left is 8% and from the bottom bottom will be it will be the 20 pixel ok now let's check it you can see this icon is not showing so we have to add this position not relative here we have to add this position is absolute so now it must be shown there you can see this icon is showing here so now this icon is here so now we have to add this icon from here and we will change the color and font effect here so let's go to here ok now we are going to increase the bottom sizes it will be 150 pixel so after adding this you can see this icon will be go to some bottom here and you can see this icon here now we will design this icon here so just you can see here this copy this class name here and we will type this for this anchor tag the anchor tag is for a tag you can see for the link tag here you can see here we have this anchor tag for this link here so here we will type this anchor tag for here I am typing this anchor tag for a here and we will make this all enter here so after this because it will be a valuable link here when we are using your social media icon link here that will be definitely it will work for the link here so here I am typing this first of all hash hashtag for the link you can add your link here so just copy it and paste it here and now we will make it remove from here because this item already we have in the left ok now for this anchor tag we will add here first of all the color for for the color we will add is background so for the color is hash will be white and here we will type this background the background will be this color code here background and color code is here now we will type this padding so the padding will be 5 pixel and 8 pixel so now let's check it you can see this color code is here and this type of so now we will may increase some font or font size here this icon font size so here we will type this font size it will be here I am going to make this font size is 20 pixel 
you can see that icon size is almost increased here so now we, we want to if you want to make some space from here so you can add some space so here I'm typing uh, some space here so that will be here I'm typing that margin so here I'm just not going to make increase here this from the top so top will be zero and this left and right or you can make from the one side so here I'm making that left and right it will be 5 pixel so you can see we have some more space here and now we'll make this shape here the border radius we will add here the shape is border radius so the border radius is shape is 5 pixel here so the border shape is almost here and now we'll add here a hover effect so copy this anchor tag here and add hover and now we have to make this we just make into this change for the background here so we'll change the background color is hashtag two two hashtag two two zero four one zero this color is almost showing here so now let's open it and you can see when you hover on it the color is changing here but this item i think we are going to see that this item is not in center so you can make it center here for this anchor tag here we can add this justify content center and this align item should be center okay now this all item will be this all images the font or some icon everything will be in the center here so you can see like that the center is here so now we'll add a footer here so for this footer we will add this after this this container section box here after in this container box here we will add a footer so this is our footer classes here and now we will add a text here that is the footer text is here I am typing this Rima. alright Chisibert okay this is our footer text but I have made some mistake here Rima. okay this is a footer text so now we'll open this style this footer here and we'll make this footer item is will be for the it will be position fixed here inside this here this footer it will be always shown here when we scroll skin or anything else so this will not is not floating here this will be floating here this will not scroll here so just make it just go to style file here and we'll open this footer classes here and now we will make this changes here this position will be will make it the position will be fixed so this item will be this item place will be fixed all the time so here we will type this justify content will be center and here we will type this text align center and align item okay here we type that align item will be center and the background background will be this color code and here this will add this width here the width is 100% and here we will add a small padding here padding it will be here some typing that padding is so 5 pixel and okay if we not write any padding here let's see what it's showing here this item must be into the in center here we can't see any padding here this position fix a stiff item here because we haven't added also a color here so we have to add first of all the color the color is hashtag FFF and the font size is font size is 15 pixel so now it will be visible you can see still it's not visible here but it's go to still on the top so we want to make it in the bottom so let's go to down and here we will type this bottom is 0 
so now you can see this item is one here but we have to add some margin here so here we will type this for the margin it will be here I'm just typing this 3 pixel 0 so now we will have some space on here you can see now we have some space on this top and bottom so this position is fixed here but this we have this margin this here so just we are removing this margin from here and here we will add a padding or you can add ok I am just adding a padding here 5 pixel and 0 ok now you can see it is perfectly working here the perfect is here so now it is completed our website it's for complete for the is this website is complete for desktop version so now when we expect it inspect mode and when you want to scroll this effect here you can see it's not mobile responsive this is not working for the mobile responsive okay so now we'll make it responsive here so go to this here and enter this snap tag update this here we'll add a dot menu for the menu toggle here For this menu toggle the class name here and now will I will add here the end icon that is font awesome icon so here I will search I will search for the menu bar <coughs> okay there you can see we have bars three dot bar here so just open it with lips with the another tab and now we'll copy this so just go it down okay just copy this tag from here and now we'll add this class name for this and this icon will be set it here automatically so for this we have to design it some so let's copy this toggle here and now after this footer not after this footer I want to make after the logo because it will be logo site so header dot logo here and now this is first of all dot the class is here and now it will, will write here this flow it will be right side flow it will be right side here and the color should be hashtag zero zero not zero zero I want to make this color and here we will add this font size the font size will be 20 pixel and here the line height it will be 50 pixel and now we will add this the cursor pointer the cursor should be pointer and now you can see this icon is here so but we want we don't want to show this icon in desktop mode so want to make it hide let's go to down here and here we will type this display none so this icon will be hide automatically from here you can see this is not showing so now we will show this icon now we will go to this the, for the mobile responsive here so just go to this style file and all this down here so here I will type a comment that is responsive responsive CSS so I will make it comment ok after commenting that and here I will open this media query file the media query file here I will this open this bracket here and this it will be max width max width here I am typing for this 800 pixel and now we will open this file here and for now we will make this first of all we will make the height header section for this let's go to here for header and go to down we will type for this header section css for the mobile responsive so here we will make just change the pad padding for the padding here that will be 5 pixel and 20 pixel so for this header we have added this so now let's go to up there 
and now we will type for this header nav just go to down and here we will open this header nav here so here we will be type this for this item we will make it the position will be absolute here the position absolute and here we will make this item should be from this left will be 0 for this item left is 0 for this item here so you want to make it in the left side and this justify content justify content should be center and here we will make this text align center okay text align center and here we will make this with this 100 percent it will be 100 percent for here and here we will add another properties top it will be 50 pixel the top property here and here we will type this color for this background hashtag fff so this is will be our background color and this position will be absolute and left will be zero and this top is 50 pixel from the top it will be 50 pixel so now we'll go to this up here so here is the menu toggle so you have to copy this menu and we want to show this menu when we are going to mobile responsive the menu bar logo toggle will be shown here go to down okay after this header section and it will be display block <coughs> so after display block here let's check it it's working or not so when you want to make it check here so you can see here this item is here like this this is item here and this item is not showing here because this it's still here so you want to make it a display block for this item let's go here for this nav well item okay let's copy this item for from here this property and go to this the media query file here we will type this for this we will type this item for the display will be we have write it for this display flex for desktop mode and now we'll type this display block so it will be in column size so we'll open it and when you check it here this mobile responsive you can see it's gone in column here and it's go to down here so we want to make here for this z index it will be the nav bar will be for this top here so here i will type this z index z index here i'm typing 1000 so that header icon or header section the nav bar will be always in top so this nav iul is almost type it here so after typing this and we will see it So you can see this item is showing here like this okay let's go to this file here again so here is this style file we'll copy this and here we'll add a border bottom for this anchor tag here for this nav wheel so here is the nav wheel li not for anchor tag we'll type for this list item just go to this media query and here under this section we will add a border bottom it will be at 2 pixel solid and we will add a color code that is it and now if you open it with the live server and let's check it you can see a bar is here this item is here now it's like this so now we want to make this item when we click on it so it will be work for that so here we will add a jQuery CDN we will use here let's go to open it and here we will search for the jQuery CDN so we are going to using the jQuery script or you can use the vanilla JavaScript or something else so here I am typing this using this jQuery script so it will be very small script here
so here you can see the jQuery CDN code here just copy it from here ok now we'll enter these classes for this script we'll open for the script from after this header section so just paste it what we copy from there and now I will remove this from here to there ok so this is our script this for CDN here and now we'll make this item here ok now here we'll open our script here for this jQuery script here so here I will type the script type text value is here the type text slash javascript or you can type a jQuery here we are using the jQuery for we am typing this jQuery ok so here now we will open this for this classes here so jQuery we are using this the dollar dot document here Okay, now we have to use that not jQuery we have to type here this JavaScript so JavaScript is type here so now we'll open this dollar function here this dollar document here we'll type this docker document dot ready and it will be a function so document dot ready function so when we it will be this dollar document one it's the function is so now the function is ready here so now this function will be when we click on this menu toggle button it will open this active class so now we have to type this the dollar and here we will type this class the condition under here and this menu class is here and that will be click function so when you click on it that will be click function so here it will be open a function here so the click function is opening here so how you click on it the click function it will be open the nav class so here we have to copy the snap section and it will be open for this the active class in here so here we will open this dollar document here so it will be the class name for this nav and it will be the toggle class the toggle class name it will be the function it will be open this active class I have made some mistake ok so now our jQuery script is successfully ready here now it's time to check it we are going to make it here this class name is here it's display flex and everything is working here but this item this one are clicking here it's not active so we have to write some CSS for that so that is now we have connected for the nav is the active class we have connected for the nav here so now we will go to type here for this nav item okay this section will copy this nav and for this nav dot will type for this active class that we are using that the Java jQuery skip we have connected that active class with the nav here so we'll type this so it will be here the top it will be 50 pixel and it will be a left is 0 so for now if we check it Okay, this item we have to add in our responsive 
so let's copy it and remove it from here and go to down and for this media query here we'll open first of all we'll type here this header and then nav active so this class name is here and now we will type here this for this header nav we will type here this left is that we have this 10 0 here but we can make it later here so first let's check it this working or not <coughs> okay now we will copy this class in this section here again so here we will open this and here we will type this active here so active for this here now we will write this top is 60 pixel and here it will be left 0 and now for this nav we will we have write it that and we will remove this item for the justify content and this text align will be center so I'm just removing this item from here and this display block and here we will add this nav wheel here nav wheel this text align in center so that will be make more graduation here so let's open it and this mobile responsive when I check it here just like this so when I click on it you can see this i button is almost working here so now we want to make this when you don't want to click here so this item will be on the left side and when I click on it it will be go from this left to right so let's go to style.css file here again and here this nav here we'll add a transition that will be 0 0.5 second and here this left left will add here minus 100% so now let's open it and now you can see here is nothing is showing here so just when I click on it this item is coming from the left to right here so this item is here and when you take on this hover effect and everything is alright and this working everything is finally so here this our mobile responsive the navigation menu is completed so now we'll make this responsive or body section so let's go to a style file and here we will check this copy this container class so here is our container classes here so just copy it and go to this media query and here we'll type this container class and here it will be display block so this all classes hot item we have uses for this this all item will be go for this down this column system here so you can see this all item is go to down here and this item is here looking like this and you can see this item is here but when you hover effect on this the background is going to a small here and this item go to up and this item go to max here so we'll make a small size here and we'll make it from the margin top and here this item will make some bigger so let's go to style file and here for this item we'll make this for this first of all we'll make this info box so here info box we'll make first of all this info box so let's copy this info box and go to media query here we'll type this for info box it will be margin from the top it will be here so I'm typing this margin from the top it will be 30 pixel or I'm typing it 20% okay now we'll copy this for this a stack info for is and we'll decrease here the font size so that will be more perfect it will show us so here for this and now we'll add this font size it will be small here we'll make this font size 50 pixel so let's check it is working or not so here go to inspection mode and here you can see this item is here from the margin top we have some space here and this item is here this text is gone some is small here and this item this everything is working is working here and now we'll make this item in the bottom so for this social link social link tag we'll find this here is social link okay let's copy this class name and go to media queries 
and under this section here and here we will open this and here we will type this bottom it will be zero so this bottom will be zero and this will make here this and now we'll make the increase the busy background image size image dot busy here image box dot busy so let's open it here and we will increase the background size for mobile responsive so it will be we'll make here this with this here with this 50 percent as i'm typing here and height height also i'm typing 50 percent You can see that is but as we are increasing here this for this 50% so that is not affected here so we are going to make it a pixel so here we will type this with this 400 pixel and this also 400 pixel here So now you can see this item is working as perfectly here in mobile responsive this background item is here so we'll make some from the left this item from the left and this item from the left some side so let's go to style file and here we will type this from the left is left it will be eight percent okay now for it again this style file here so we'll remove this item from here and we'll copy this IMZ box and under this section here we'll make it here so here we'll type this top will be here we'll type this top 5% and here we'll type this left left it will be 25% here some typing this 25% left and here bottom will be 0 so here I'm typing this bottom 0 here and now let's check it it must be open for this it must be suitable skin for now you can see it's working as a suitable and this one bottom so you can see when you hover on it it's working as like that and it's working in very good smooth depiction here and now for this we'll make the info box we'll make some top less than here so we'll decrease some top here for info box we'll remove this margin we'll make it top top i will add here the 10 percent So now you can see it's going from the top we have some space here and you can see like this and here we have this space here but I want to make some more space in top here it's going to up there so let's go to this IMZ box here I will type top from the top is 10% so now we have some space here. you can see now we have some more enough space it's not going to up here so you can make also some more more specification if you want so here we can type 20 percent okay so now it's working for as smoothly when you hover on it it's not going to the overflow here so you can see and when you click on it it's opening here so this is the complete responsive website a portfolio website responsive here so it's our mobile responsive so it's this our completed and it's a long videos here so if you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video please like on this and share the video with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon for all updates and thank you so much for watching this video